my new friend. And this is a scholastic story. And some of the characters in our story are actually animals that we might see on the farm. Remember this week, we're learning all about farm animals. And I have some of the pictures of some of the farm animals that we might see. There are some pigs, some roosters and chickens, cows, a field mouse, it's even possible on a farm, some sheep or a lamb, some goose or geese, one goose and two geese, a dog and some, and some more sheep. So let's read our new story. What I love about this book is that it kind of teaches us that friends can come in all different shapes and sizes. Here we go, my new friend. And on the cover, what do we see? There's a little pig and there's a little lamb. They look so cute together, don't they? My new friend. My new friend is different from me. Take a look. They do look different, don't they? This bird is called a parrot and it's red with blue and yellow uh, wings and a white beak and some white on its face. And look at who his friend is, the cute kitten. We move differently. Oh, do you guys know how a snail moves and how a frog moves? Can you show me how a snail moves? Kind of like this, slithering along. And how does a frog move? Hop, 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 that's right. We talk differently. Take a look, look close. There's a bird. What kinds of sounds do birds make? And what kind of sounds might a gazelle make or a deer make? Mm. Well, we can still be friends. And even wear our hair differently. Oh my gosh, these two animals are definitely animals you might see on a farm. You might see the sheep and you might see a goat. The goat has short hair and the sheep has long hair. But we are also alike in many ways. A baby deer or a fawn and a dog. What are some ways these two animals are alike? How many legs do they have? One, two, three, and there's another leg hiding in the back, four. The dog has four legs and the fawn has one, two, three, four, four legs as well. That's one way that they're alike. Do you see something else? Do you see their eyes? Yes, that's right, they both have eyes. What about ears? Yes, they both have ears. The dog has flappy ears that are hanging down right now and the fawn has ears that are pointing straight up. Very cool. What else do you notice about how they're alike? We both love playing outside. Look at the raccoon hanging from the tree. And this is a porcupine. He has things called quills that are very spiky um, and pointed at the end. He's a porcupine. We both take long naps. I'm going to zoom in real close so you can see that puppy dog is sitting right on top of the kitty cat, taking a nap. We laugh at the same jokes. That baby alligator and the frog, they look like they're laughing, don't they? Their mouths are big, smiles are wide. Yep. When I'm feeling low, my friend makes me feel better. Aw, a nice hug from a friend. I love my new friend. Being different doesn't change that. Those two animals are certainly different. One walks on legs and one also flies, but it also has legs that it can walk around on. And thank you for joining me. Don't forget to check out the activities and the other read alouds that are available 
and the theme for farm animals. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.